my name is Laura Vernon Russell and I'm teaching encaustic painting here at the Columbia Art Center. I wanted to let you know that um, encaustics is an ancient form of painting developed by the Egyptians and Greeks using beeswax, resin, and pigment to make beautiful pictures. Initially the Egyptians used it to make funerary portraits on, on caskets and the Greeks often used it to coat their boats for when they discovered the wax's waterproof properties. We're using encaustic today in this magical format to make beautiful pictures. And we start with coating a hard surface with the medium, which is only beeswax and resin, melted to 240 degrees. And we coat the wood a number of times to get a good high surface. Once the wood is coated with wax, take a torch or an iron and, the torch, and melt all the layers together. For it to dry. This is um, to create a seal on the wood and to create a surface on which to put image transfers or you may incise lines to, and add pigment and color. These are the encaustic paints that I made myself mixing the, the, the medium, which is the Damar resin and beeswax, with powdered pigments or oil paints. You lay the oil paint out on a paper towel, it sucks out all the oils, the linseed oil and things that aren't good for the encaustics, but it just leaves you the pigment. You mix that all together and you make beautiful whites and blues and reds and these are all, you paint them all melted. One of the great things about the wax surface is that you can transfer images to the surface and it's wonderful for you photographers who are interested, also interested in painting. Also, you cover the images with, with another wax layer and you can put image on top of image. This one that I did, I have an actually an initial drawing that I glued to the wood before I coated any wax. I covered the drawing and then I, covered, then I covered it with paint and I scraped away the paint to reveal the drawing and then put photocopies, trans, transfer photocopy images of my own photographs to the surface as well as incising lines and drawing. For a two-dimensional encaustics class where you make, make a flat picture and also a three-dimensional encaustics class on clay. This is a challenge, but it's really fun. It's, uh, when you melt wax on a flat surface, it stays where it's put for the most part. You try it on 3D and it can drip right on the floor. So it requires a little bit of skill, but it's not hard, and I hope you'll try it out. Thanks so much.